Here is the redesigned or refreshed, whatever you want to call it, 2024 Ford F-150 Lariat. In this video, I'll be going over what trims are available with the F-150s, what safety features you get with this trim, the exterior, the interior, the infotainment system, and the pricing. Also, the 2024 F-150 has gone through some changes and that's exactly what I'll be covering in this video. If you guys are new here, my name is Jason and I do reviews on vehicles here in Canada, so be sure to like and subscribe for more videos just like this one. Also, thank you to Aaron Wood Ford for allowing me to review this 2024 F-150 Lariat. Be sure to reach out to them and ask for George. Starting with the different trims you can get when it comes to the F-150, you can pick from eight different models. This will include the XL, STX, XLT, Tremor, Lariat, King Ranch, Platinum, and the Raptor. There are also three styles you can get, and this will be the regular, Super Cab, and the Super Crew. Plus, you can pick from three different box sizes, and only certain models will be available from the styles and the box sizes that you pick. Now, as for the safety features you will get with this F-150 Lariat, it includes the post-collision braking, forward collision warning, pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking, lane keeping system, reverse sensing system, reverse braking assist, bliss with cross traffic alert and trailer tow coverage, and the curve control. And taking a look at what powers this Lariat, standard with this model, you do get the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost engine, but this one does have the upgraded 5 liter V8 engine. And this is going to give you 400 horsepower and 410 pound foot of torque with towing capabilities of about 9,300 pounds for the way that this Lariat is equipped. But with the tow haul package, it gets bumped to about 12,900 pounds. The front of the refreshed F-150s, I think looks pretty unique now. I mean, the old look was good too, but this just looks much cleaner. You'll notice this rubber piece below the bumper here at the bottom. And on the bumper in this black middle area that you have will be the two front tow hooks. Also on the bumper are the front safety sensors. And the bumper does come body color. Plus you do get the nice LED fog lights that are changed as well. Above on the grille, it's all gloss black, which definitely looks sweet and comes with the black appearance package. And you'll notice a lot of the stuff around the package that is equipped with the black appearance package. For example, the Ford badge, it's all blacked out and is with the same package. And right below the Ford badge is a front facing camera. Then you've got the all new LED headlights, which are my favorite now. I used to love the Ram 1500 limited lights, but these I think look way better. Coming to the side of the Lariat, this is the Super Crew smaller bed configuration, and it's painted in this pretty cool avalanche color. Up top, this truck does have the optional panel sunroof option added to it, and around the windows, it's all black trim. There's even this keypad here as well. The door handles are body color, and same goes for the side mirror caps which have the lights, turn signal, and the side mirror camera. Also on the fender here, you do have this black F-150 Lariat badge. You'll notice this truck has the side steps, which is nice. As for the wheels and with the black package, you end up getting these nice 20 inch gloss black aluminum wheels, which does add to the look of this truck. Over on the rear of the bed, you do have this dark 4x4 decal and again, it's with the black appearance package, so you get a ton with that package. Coming to the rear of the Lariat, like the front, the rear bumper is also body color, and obviously the top section here is in black plastic if you're gonna be stepping on it. There's also the dual exhaust outlets that are in black, and again, with the same black appearance package. And you've also got the rear safety sensors here. In the middle is the hitch, and by the plate area right above are the towing outlets. Over on the tailgate, you've got the massive blacked out F-150 lettering, and again with the black Ford badge right above it. And up by the tailgate handle is the camera and the light. Just like the front lights, the rear LED taillights also have been changed and definitely stand out and are more sleek looking. And if you look closely, these lights kind of have this black smoky look to them, which again is a part of the black appearance package. Opening up the tailgate, not only is this power opening, but also power closing, which is convenient. Plus on the tailgate here, you do have this work surface area and these small areas to put some tools or screws. And since this truck has the bed utility package, 
which gives you the built-in tailgate step that does pop out and there's also this handle that comes out to help you get in and out of the bed pretty easily. Also back here, you do have the bed liner and this is not a spray-in bed liner, it's just like a plastic liner in here. Plus you've got the built-in hooks in all of the corners. There's also the LED bed lighting here, which is packaged with the bed utility package. Under these flimsy covers, you do have a 120 volt outlet and the other side has the same thing, but you do get a small storage pocket here. Over on the rear glass is the rear power sliding window. Coming into the rear of the Lariat, you've got the classic F-150 layout. At the bottom is a generous amount of space for your things. Even in the middle of the door area is more space. And since this Lariat has the upgraded 502A package, you do get the 14 speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system. There's also some leather on the armrest area with the contrast stitching. And then you have this almost brown like trim here in the middle. There's also some small space up here as well and this nice looking smooth trim. The whole area up top is soft touch material which does remind me of a pair of jeans. As for the rear seats, you have these black leather seats with the stitching and even the middle has this perforated area. And the rear seats are also heated. Overall, they're pretty good and comfortable. Now pulling down the center area, this will have your cup holders. And lifting up the rear seats, underneath you do get this big box which you can use for storage. So there's a ton of things that you can fit in here. Behind the front seats, you do have these storage pockets. And over on the rear console area, it has the cup holders here with some chrome around it. Then are the vents, rear heated seat buttons, a 12 volt outlet, USB port, and a 120 volt outlet. Now coming to the front of the Lariat, it's just like the rear but with a little bit of a bigger area at the bottom. Then you've just got the usual window and side mirror controls. Plus the driver memory seat buttons. As for the front seats, these are just like the rear and are super comfy. And not only do these come heated, but they're also ventilated. And you can get different interior color options like black that you're looking at or this nice medium dark slate. The front seats do come power adjustable and underneath are just the pedals and the hood latch release. Above will be the electronic parking brake, power pedal adjustments, exterior light, regular light controls, and the cluster dimmer. You've also got the side mirror lights and the tailgate button up here. Even around the vent here, you do have this nice texture trim with the US flag. And the steering wheel is power adjustable. Entering inside of the F-150, the dash has a mixture of hard and soft material. Plus the same trim that you saw on the door area. There's also the speakers on the pillars and the corners. And this truck does have the heads up display, which is a new thing for the F-150s. And this is always a pretty nice, convenient thing to have as well. Even the full digital cluster has been changed and I think it looks much better and sleeker now. I like all of the details that this has and you can of course go through a bunch of different things, menus and whatnot on here. The steering wheel is wrapped in leather with the accent stitching and some aluminum trimming here at the bottom. Plus, it's also heated. There's also another black Ford badge on here, and on the left side, you'll find the cruise control, follow distance, lane keep, volume, and Bluetooth controls. The other side has the cluster, phone, and media controls. Behind, you'll find the wiper, high beams, and indicator controls. Over on the center console, it has leather and the stitching, plus it's pretty big. And this truck also has the optional work surface, so you just open it from back here, and before you do that, you just have to fold down the gear shifter and then you have this whole area to do your work or whatever you want. And opening up the armrest area here, you do get a tray that does pop out and has some storage on it as well. Then inside is a decent amount of storage room, plus you've got USB ports in there as well. Along the sides of the center console is more of that nice trimming plus more storage space. Now on the center console itself, you'll have the gear shifter which can be folded down. There's a small area to maybe hold a phone or so, then the front cup holders. The area up here has this sliding piece which has the similar door area trim. But opening this up, you'll have some storage space in here and also a wireless charging area which does come with the 502A package. And you've got USB ports. Over to the left are the different drive modes. Then you've just got the usual temperature controls, heated steering wheel, and heated and vented seat buttons. Right above, you'll notice the media controls. And if you look to the right, you'll have the 12 volt and 120 volt outlets. 
And I believe this piece here next to the screen, which says F-Series is new. It's something so small, but it's there. Then you've got the 12 inch touchscreen, and this is pretty nice, clear and responsive. If you notice to the right, there is this little section where you can view different things. But on the screen here, you do have the audio section for your AM, FM, Sirius XM and all. That is the phone section once you have it paired. Next will be the map section. And over on the favorite section, here you can pick which shortcut you want along the bottom area. Then is the app section for your Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Under settings, you can adjust a few different things about the truck. Now, under features, this will probably be the stuff that you'll use the most. So you have things like the driver assistance, where you can adjust the safety settings. Then is the zone lighting, which you can turn on all at once or a specific area. Next is the towing, where you can add a trailer and adjust the settings. And then you've just got the owner's manual. Then over on the smaller screen that I was mentioning, you can also view different things. So there's a bunch of them. Right above the screen are a few buttons like the auto start stop, the camera button, which you can view all sorts of angles on this truck. So it makes towing and parking pretty easy. Then is the parking button, hazards and the traction control. Above will be the mirror, rear power sliding window control, sunshade and sunroof controls, and the interior lights. And like I was mentioning, this truck does have the optional panel sunroof, and here's what it looks like. Here's a key fob and what it looks like for the F-150. Coming around to the passenger side, on the dash is this nice smooth trim, and this does open up, giving you some extra storage space. Then it's just the usual glove compartment area. Here's the window sticker for this Lariat, you see the standard things and the optional things added to this truck. The MSRP you see is in Canadian dollars and this may be minus any dealer discounts and manufacturing rebates if they're being offered. Well, that does it for the review on this new 2024 Ford F-150 Lariat. Let me know what you think of this truck. Do you love it or do you hate it?